Thank you, Lou. And, and many thanks also um, to GARC as a whole and uh, Valentina and Media Foundation for the invite. Uh, greetings from Delhi. Um, and I, for one, cannot stress enough the importance of uh, this type of initiatives and networking initiatives. So I'm really glad to see that Mercon is now um, a reality or becoming a reality. Um, as you said, I'll be talking in the next few minutes about a tool, uh, multi-criteria decision analysis, which is uh, in short MCDA. Uh, and, and what it does basically is uh, to measure or assess capacity uh, capacities for a very rabies program. So why are we developing these? Um, mostly to address a need that is in the uh, in the literature um, and has been reflected by a number, by a number of, of references um, about the need to explore or study more the sustainability of rabies control programs. But I also have a direct and personal um, contact and experience uh, with the need of having efficient allocation of resources from my time in, in Pajo in the Americas, where I used to coordinate uh, the rabies regional program. And I used to hear the, these, uh, this demand from uh, rabies program managers across the region. Let me say that uh, this is another tool in the box. Uh, it does not compete or actually competes with the, uh, the survey, but uh, I'm of the uh, strong belief uh, that uh, the more the merrier and competition is good. Um, and in this case, as I said, it's just a model-driven and multi-criteria decision analysis. It's got some advantages, um, particularly um, the easy conceptualization. Uh, I'll try to describe that in a minute. Um, but this is no mathematical modeling, I should say that. This is an expert-driven model. Um, and um, so in, in, in not being a mathematical model, it does not provide, for example, standard outputs from such models like uh, the impact of increasing a capacity such as vaccination in the um, in dynamics of the, of the disease. Um, but it, it, the flexibility also brings some benefits or the, uh, the, the, the approach brings some benefits. For example, um, the ability to measure some soft uh, capacities such as coordination that normally mathematical models don't contemplate. Um, and we'll see how it goes uh, around these soft uh, capacities in a minute. Uh, next slide, please. Right, I won't spend a second on this slide at all, I'm aware of the time. Uh, this is just to say that uh, this uh, the model, the MCDA model, follows a robust and well-established uh, science, in the particular case, multi-attribute utility theory, and we follow all the decision and measurement theory, so it's robust and, 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 and systematic. Uh, next slide, please. Right, um, here I'm trying to define how we build the model, how we build that uh, tool that basically, as I said at the beginning, uh, basically evaluates the rabies capacities in the rabies program. It's got six, six standard steps, as you can see here, and the first one is the definition of fundamental objectives. In this case, we built this tool to basically assess capacities uh, against canine mediated rabies. And um, we thought about several scenarios, four actually, or two with two options. Um, this is about the tool basically allows uh, policy makers or uh, program managers to identify what priorities they allocate to the different capacities. And we thought that the allocation of preferences surely would change depending on whether you are in an endemic situation or in a rabies free and whether you have or you are in a situation of uh, surplus or budget, i.e. you're investing, or you are facing some budget cuts and, for example, the investing. So depending on these uh, four different situations, uh, we came up with different uh, sets of values and weights. The other steps in the model, the way we built it, is uh, you basically identify a number of experts. As I said at the beginning, this is an expert-driven tool, and we engage with uh, six well-known experts in, in several regions. And these experts help in the, uh, in the development of the tool and the other steps. So, so the first one was the definition of what capacities and subcapacities are relevant for rabies programs, and we identify 11 capacities of the type of uh, surveillance, vaccination, and the others, and, and, a, and a hierarchy with subcapacities. I'll show you that in the next slide. Um, we also use the, uh, the experts to inform the values of these capacities. This tool basically also allows you to see how you can improve the performance of the different capacities. Um, that performance can be in a continuous scale from 0 to 100, for example, how much we value the improvement of uh, dog vaccination. Um, and, and we 
didn't assume linearity in, 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 in these value functions, because we think that uh, any rabies program surely will value more an increase in uh, dog rabies vaccination from zero coverage up to 70 coverage uh, percent than from 70 percent coverage to 100 once we uh, reach that herd immunity. Um, and we also use the, uh, the next step of the model. We also use the experts to inform the weights. Again, um, different capacities will have different relevance. We keep talking about the importance of dog vaccination and post-exposure prophylaxis. Surely these capacities are more relevant than others. Uh, and we'll see that in a minute. So these are the model. I can't see barely anything on my screen. Um, I'm suffering the same problems as the previous speaker and um, a very small screen. And on top of that, an aging um, eyesight. Um, but um, I think you can perhaps see that uh, on the left of the screen, there is the value tree that we use to define 11 capacities, as I said before, things like dog vaccination, surveillance, and then the subcapacities following. There are two plots, I believe, in the middle of the slide, um, and basically they show the value functions uh, for the different scenarios I mentioned, whether we are in budget cuts or we have an investment to make, or whether we are in a rabies endemic situation or rabies free. Perhaps the message out of that is that you may perhaps see several lines. Every line is one of the experts. Um, and as you can see, the lines are a bit dispersed or disaggregated. Um, that shows the importance of having more than one expert in form of the model, um, because uh, we have some discrepancies among them. And, among them. And, and the table on the right of the screen, perhaps you can read it, I can't. Um, I think it shows the weights that we allocated to the different capacities. Um, and you will see four columns, and those four columns basically reflect the, uh, the four scenarios that I was talking about before. Um, there are three rows highlighted and they basically show uh, the, uh, the ways given by the experts to the, uh, to the three capacities. I uh, believe the first one is post-exposure prophylaxis, the second one in the middle of the table is rabies and as I was referring to before, the, uh, one of the abilities of this model is that we can also allocate weight. So see the relative relevance of uh, soft capacities, in this case coordination, at the bottom. And from memory, I remember coordination actually was scored or weighted quite highly. I think it's the third um, most relevant capacity in, in the overall portfolio. Uh, next slide, please. Now, what does it do? I mean, the, the model does. Uh, basically, um, it is uh, programmed in Excel, Visual Basic. So when you open the, uh, the model, it opens uh, that little window on the left and allows you to select uh, the different scenarios I was referring to before, whether it is endemic or investment or de-investment, and the returns, the products of uh, inputting your data against all the different capacities, 11 capacities, is that it returns a country a score, which is at the bottom of uh, that plot, that bar plot on the, on the right. Uh, for this particular dummy example, that country has an aggregated score of 30 something, that is the overall capacity of rabies program, which is an weighted aggregation of the uh, individual capacities. Um, so as I just said now, actually the other product is a capacity spe specific scores, and you can see that uh, from C1 uh, all the way down until C11. This is on a scale from zero to 100. And the final uh, return, the final output that the model produces is capacity-specific contributions. And, and this leads neatly into the next and final slide, please. So uh, the model not only allows us to see uh, how relevant each capacity is in the overall aggregated value or capacity of the country or the rabies program, but also uh, is, uh, has an embedded, uh, the simplest portfolio decision system in, uh, that is possible. Um, and basically allows us to see um, what is the return in our investment. So here in this table, you can see two uh, portfolio scenarios. The one on the left, um, the, the rabies program manager has a budget of $180,000. And either size, he can invest that budget in improving those three uh, capacities that I cannot read at all. Um, whereas on the right of the table, he's got a, another portfolio or another option of investment, uh, this time with a smaller price tag of around $100,000. And also he's seeking at improving different capacities. Uh, again, I cannot see the detail. The important of this is that 
um, given the architecture of the model, we are capable of uh, assessing what is the added capacity of uh, improving those three capacities in each of the portfolio options. So for the portfolio one, you can see that the capacity increases up to 50.9. And for, for portfolio two, the capacity increases up to 51.3. When we divide these by the price tag, uh, we can obviously derive the value for money. And the value for money uh, for the portfolio number one is 1944, and for portfolio number two is 37.14, which is almost twice as big as the uh, portfolio one. So these basically helps the uh, Revis program managers uh, to identify the investment that brings uh, the greatest value for the uh, for the money. I think that is the next, the final slide. So I'll stop here. Thank you very much for your attention.